everybody this is the urban watcher and uh, what we're going to be talking about today is how to uh, use a program called Hamachi log me in Hamachi so that you can uh, connect with your friends using a local using using a network um, one of the things that you need to be able to do is download and I'll include one of the links but you know how internet goes I'll include the links in the in this in the uh, uh, description box but there's a program on the internet that's been around for a very long time back in the days when we had uh, like Red Alert and the Command and Conquer series and it's called Log Me In Hamiyachi. the name has changed over over a period of time but it's always been referred to as Hamiyachi. and Hamiyachi is a program that it is is a hosted VPN service that securely connects devices and networks extending a LAN like network connectivity to mobile users distributed teams and business applications now for video games what this means is that it let's say that you want you want to play a game and most games that are some some of the earlier games that require your buddy to be uh, in the room in the room behind you you know I remember in college we had to do uh, we had a, a bunch of my friends had to put our computers together and we would order pizza and we would play for days at a time and we would have a LAN party well it's not so practical, especially if you're playing over the internet and you might have a friend or a family member that's all the way across the country. I'm in Texas. I have some friends that live in California and some in New York, and we like to play some of these games. And there maybe the maybe the support by the developer isn't um, there for a uh, uh, a co-op or multiplayer. But if we were to create a network, it would allow us to do that. Now. Right now, uh, if you're watching this because you want to know how to connect connect in Seven Days to Die, that's kind of the situation um, that we're facing. You know, the developers have dropped us a very minimal multiplayer co-op support. Right now, you're only allowed to to play with four players. Now you can mod that and change some of the some of the things in the settings. Now let's say that one of the big requirements to be able to do that is you have to be able to port forward um, uh, one of your one of your ports. Now, if you're like a lot of my friends and a lot, you know, I'm very uncomfortable around that stuff. I really don't want to uh, be able to mess with that. Like, I do not have access to the uh, the company website. The company uh, limits my ability to port forward. So. I'm kind of out of luck. I have I can't really host or anything like that. Well, that was true until we started using login log me in Hamiyachi. Log me in Hamiyachi is a very very quick download, and what it does is connect us. And, you know, you, it allows you to create a network that you put a password on, and your friend from across the country puts a, you know is able to log into, and it it acts on as if you were on the same network as if you were having those old college day land parties. So if I were to sit here and click on download now from C C N E T, uh, a website that I use, uh, they're offering other programs and stuff on here as well. Uh, Fraps is also a program I use for video editing or not video editing, video capture in games and other and other things. It's a it's, I can do a separate video on that. Um, so it was a quick little download. You know when you download that, let me show you really quick. It installs. And it installs, and it, and you get a program that looks like this. Now I did a Photoshop to kind of take out some of the the IP address here. You really want to protect that. You don't want that information floating out there. And yeah, what 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 you're gonna do is uh, it's very easy to set up. And so one of the things that you're gonna want to do is I here's the program I have here, kind of hidden under the the toolbar. And when you're actually in the about to set up a network, you're gonna want to click network create a new network and so what it allows you to do is create a get, uh, create a network that you and your friend are going to do so if I were going to create a network for my friend I would name it something pretty simple so I would put sample network and then I would put a password and I might put a password uh, password would be the password you know uh, I wouldn't actually use this but there you go and then you would click create. Now I've already created this network, and it shows up here. Now when it all your now, boom, you've created a network. Now let's go ahead and connect your friend. So here's what you're going to want to do: if have your friend download this program, click on network, 
join existing network. You want to put the uh, name of a name of the uh, network that you just created. So ours was called Sample Network, and then you want to put the password. So ours was password. Okay, you click join, and boom, they their name should appear right under the example password. As and if you see that you've done it, you're successful. So what you're going to want to do is man, minimize that, let it go away. So now let me switch one thing. So give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and start up uh, Seven Days to Die and switch off the main monitor to the end, end game. This might take one second. Inside the game, uh, this is the second part to being able to play in a game like Seven Days to Die. Now, as this game boots up, I want I want you you need to talk to your friend and make sure that you have their IP address. You know, communicate with that. Make sure you have the number. Uh, you don't have to worry about port forwarding. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You're gonna want to click, and this is in the alpha game. You know, if you're watching this later on, some of the principles uh, still apply. Hopefully, the developers will give us more tools in the multiplayer and the co-op and then you might you might not have to do this but you know at least you know about Hamiachi and you can use it for any of the other games out there floating around that where you might need to create a network it's a, it's a pretty good source you want to click on connect to server and then you're going to want to type in an IP address here so my friend's IP address now this isn't true but here it is it's uh, 69 and he told me this is his and I don't know whether to believe it 69 6969.001. Now, that's hard for me to believe. And uh, the default port is this number right here. It's uh, 25,000. Uh, 25, okay. And in at least in seven days to die. As, as long as you don't change it on your computer, this should always be the default port. And then you just press start to be able to connect. Now, there are some rules in specifically seven days to die. Your friend has to, the person that's hosting the game, uh, you can use a single player uh, game or you can create a brand new game. And uh, I personally would like to use my single player game. Uh, a lot of people do not realize that. Um, I like to load up my game and if you see here, I've, uh, I've, I've been playing this game for about 23 days. And I load this up and that's the first rule. The person that's hosting, they have to load up their game. Once the game has been established, then the person on the other end that wants to connect can use the IP address to connect that to, to the, with their friend. Now, the other rule in Seven Days to Die specifically is if you if uh, the host must be the last person to leave the game. At this point in the alpha and the development of this game, if the if the host begins to crash, or if the host leaves the game before anybody else everybody loses the loot in their inventory and so it neglects all the work that you've been done and the game rolls back to uh, either when you started the game or to an earlier save point and you really don't want that if you've been playing for like two or three hours building up a base doing a great job and then you lose all your gameplay uh, a good idea is for you know every every few uh, 30 minutes uh, have everybody log out and log back in so that it creates an automatic save point on your on the host computer those files will only be on the uh, host computer it won't be on anybody else's so there you have it folks that is how you use Hamiachi to be able to connect uh, in, in very general terms uh, co-op with other people uh, using that program and specifically how to connect in seven days to die. Now, if you have any other questions uh, about this how-to, uh, I'll like I said, I'll put the uh, link and update it uh, for the life of the uh, of, of this video if it's up on YouTube. Um, if you have any questions, please make a comment or you know give me a thumbs up or uh, click follow or subscribe. I'd I'd love to hear from you. I'm actually in the process of of coming up with a few other topics. Uh, some of those topics might be, you know, how to become a streamer on Twitch, how to uh, uh, modify your options, how to do overlays, how to do, um, how to mod uh, some things in, in for streaming. Um, and if you have any specific needs or wants, I have a little bit of a graphics background, a little bit of a, a teaching background. I, I'd be happy to create a video specifically for your needs. 
uh, le leave me a comment or send me a private message. Um, again, check out some of my other gameplay videos, some of my reviews. I'm on, I have a blog um, and also a Twitch account. Check those out, and uh, I appreciate everyone's, everyone checking this video out. Thank you very much. This is the Urban Watcher.